Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we're watching Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 2. Last episode was a sick start to a new season. <laughs> it was so good, especially because it didn't feel sudden. Yeah. We got to kind of just continue on from season one. It, it felt really good, especially if you're watching really close together. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot. It felt like a return to Mob Psycho, but also like a step forward in a different direction in regards to Mob's emotions and feelings and his decision to consider them more. And I was really glad to see that develop. He really did some amazing things with his psychic powers last episode. He he helped a few people out with his powers, which I think is something that he's discovering. That that psychic powers aren't just things that can hurt others and and be used for violence or for furthering your own goal, like claw, but they can be used to make people happy, they can be used to protect people. You know, there's a lot of things that he can do with these abilities that he has. And it's important that he sees that it's not just all bad and evil. That it, There's a balance there and that he can be good with I, his powers. I almost feel like an emphasis on psychic powers being used for healing. Like, in, in healing and, like, uh, growth of life and, like, positivity. Like, whether it was last season's school. It might not school, taste good. Might not taste good. The plant or like obviously the story written by Emmy. And I it's just I don't know. I this is such a feel good, heartfelt it's it's a nostalgic show to me, even though that I'm watching it right now. Yeah, just, okay, yeah. I totally I get what you're saying there. I really loved Emmy. Me too. I think I just I knew that there was a possibility that Emmy was lying. Right right off the bat. I I was like, there's no way this this cute girl decides from this fact if he had given a, an amazing speech and really put himself out there in that way and was able to say everything he was supposed to you know maybe then a girl would have put a letter in his locker and not have been trying to bully him or mock him uh i thought it was onigawara <laughs> you did think it was onigawara but i obviously she was not a bad person and not a bad girl because Mob was able to remember all of all of those moments they had walking home. She wasn't pretending to be who she, like someone else. She was being herself and she was being kind, like she seems and appears to actually be. She and just did this initial action of asking him out because mm -hmm. like Mob, she does what people tell tell her to do. Yeah, and she was dared to do this. Yeah. But now no one's going to have to dare her to interact with Mob ever again. Because, so I'm hopeful that it's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. Subomi was watching. Not oh. really sure what that's about. Is, has she just <laughs> been watching him this whole time and waiting for him to love himself or something? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe like Tsubomi thinks that Mob has this like harem of women. Because last time Tsubomi looked at Mob, he was immediately interrupted by Mezuto. Yeah, it's like he has all of these girls. Uh, Tsubomi's going to get jealous. I mean, she didn't really <laughs> seem jealous when she looked no. up and was like smooth. Yeah. It, it almost seemed like she was proud of him. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm excited to actually get to know what she's like as a character, what her personality is actually like. Because it, it, I just thought she was kind of going to be that lofty idol that isn't actually amazing or special and people just like her because she's pretty and she, and mob might just like her because he's known her so long and she's pretty but i'm excited for the possibility that she's actually like a really great character yeah. and well-rounded and sweet complex uh we got um the team is established yeah uh they all have their colors yeah taro and orange Reagan in blue, Mob in red, Ritsu in green, and Dimple in yellow. I have some issue with with their colors. I'm kind of confused why Dimple is not green and Teru is not yellow. Artistic and, choices. You know, they just wanted to change things up. Mm -hmm. But I just, I love that it's this team. Like, they're 
they're gonna be the ones that defeat Claw. Yeah, I, I yeah. want. Yeah, see, <laughs> sounds yeah. more optimistic about that. Like I'm like, yeah, we're gonna defeat Claw, but why? Like I'm scared at what it would take for Reagan and Mob to be in to fight. Teru and Ritsu would probably be uh, easier to convince uh, to fight back against Claw, but we do have those other espers now that could probably be easily kidnapped again. Like I don't, like we guessed, we don't know if they can nurture their abilities I have, that much. I have like a nightmare scenario of all the espers running to get Mob and being like, our prestigious teacher... Teru was just taken by Claw. Go help him. And then Mob's like, nah. And then Ritsu's like, yeah, come on, we have to do it. And you know, like, I, and then Teru would be like sitting locked up, being like, Mob's definitely gonna come save me any minute. <laughs> my brothers now. are on their way. <laughs> my brothers are on their yeah. way. But I don't know. I feel like that could be a maybe an entrance into Claw. But I don't know. I'm nervous and excited to see it. Show could transfer schools. True. Wouldn't that be interesting? That would be so interesting. I would love to see that. <laughs> Me too. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Sweet. Look at his turtleneck. So cute. We kind of had that at the end of episode 12 of the last season, right? Mm -hmm. トイレの花子さんや人面的新しいものだとお引き散った。土地の子を捕まえるような感覚ですね。いや、部屋違う。なあ。お引き様は不幸探しに生き生きしてますね。飛び込み営業の極意は笑顔だ。机低いですよ。おい、貴様ら。誰に許可取って営業してるんだ。
れやっぱりこれが人面犬かマジックですねこれが人面犬だどういうことですか小中学生の間ではこいつは本物ね俺らの人面犬小屋に誰かいっぞ見物で当たるわぜ目が悪いから落書きに気づかないのさこの犬に顔描いたらぶちのめすからなやべっと敷かれる大人が必要なんだよテロルを払ってくれるってご親切にテロルそんなに汚れてたのか死んで Is he named Terror because he's afraid of bats? 犬が好きなだけなんじゃなんですか当たり前だ Reagan's such a good guy. I want a dog so I can give them bony bones and bats. You followed it into an ominous forest? I really hope Dimple can like get into Shinra's body and like beat this dude's ass. They're easier to take over if they're passed out, right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Is that the dragger? Yeah. Good. I like the dragger, I'm a fan. Oh my god! They oh, work. he actually has psychic abilities! Shinra's the man! Dimple, what are you gonna do? That's Dimple. Hell yeah! Shrimple! You beat all those other spirits in that jar, Dimple. Nice. Duh. All right, that was Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 2. I really liked Shinra. The seemingly Esper? I mean, his. Definitely his had like some abilities. Yeah. Might even just be an object specifically that has powers and he can use it. It was fun. It was a, it was, it was a fun episode. I mean, it was purely just so Reagan would have something to brag about on his new website. <laughs> uh, so I think that that'll was get the point work. of this episode. Yeah. Was that Reagan needed something flashy. For his website so yeah. to bring in more uh, clients and get more money <laughs> like reagan's seo adventures like he's trying to just like <laughs> get stuff to use um i mean it wasn't like too deep of an episode or anything no. it was just like fun it was fun uh definitely hated the flasher guy the red raincoat guy Hated him. I was hoping oh. that there would be an explanation that that wasn't. I what know. His I was hoping was. it wouldn't just be that he was had a like he said it started as a fetish. I'm like you're a horrible person. Yeah, <laughs> that was horrific. Um, the dragger I thought was pretty cool in design and mm -hmm. execution. Uh, can we talk about Dash Granny? <laughs> she was the true I just, horror. Oh, that I mean, it traumatized Mob. Yeah. Because she ran faster than him. <laughs> oh, it's so funny that she was just a grandma that likes to go and, out like, on runs. regular clothes, not you even know, like so workout funny. clothes. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, the intro, I'm continuing to love the OP. The whole reoccurring salt thing is Oh, I great. know. The, you know, I was waiting for Reagan to use a new ultimate move with uh, fries. You know? Yeah. I wanted something to show up and him to just be like, Fry Barrage! I don't know. Like, don't Reagan's ultimate move, number five! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted to read uh, about the descriptions the for these legends. urban legends. Yeah. Cuticle City. Okay, Cuticle City. And Great. the park was those fingers. Cuticle park. Gosh. All right. I'll read, I'll read the first one, okay? Okay. Human-faced dog. 
It's said that the vengeful spirit of a middle-aged man who committed suicide possessed a dog. It rummages through the trash downtown, and if you call it, it'll say, just leave me alone. (laughs) Okay. Dash Granny. When you're driving on the freeway in the middle of the night, you might hear a tapping on your window. You'll then see a granny running alongside your car at the same speed. Apparently, if she outruns you, you'll get into a car accident. (laughs) The Red Raincoat. It wanders endlessly through the city in the rain, dressed in all red. If someone sees the Red Raincoat, they will die. However, if you're wearing something red, your life will be uh, spared. Like, minus the actual, like horrific person who was the red raincoat that's a pretty cool legend i i I like it yeah i like it okay the dragger dressed in torn white clothing the dragger drags people around until they are but lumps of meat when she was human she suffered from horrible bullying and from that hatred she'll capture children and drag them around dang that's pretty good as well hmm dang I like that Dimple has, like, such a, like, he has so much care of what Mob thinks of him, and he's like, I can't let you go down. Like, granted, He sure. did say he's going to be really strong yeah. one day, and but it, it comes, I feel like now we could say that there is definitely care there and not just selfish, uh... I'm going to wait around until he gets even more powerful and then I'm going to try to possess him. Yeah, like when, like it was fine, it was good. And then when Shinra, like his Achilles heel uh, heel got hurt and then Dimple was like, I I could just run away and save myself, but mom wouldn't like that and he wouldn't be happy with me. I can't let him down. I loved that. That was great. I remember when we first met the cult and met Dimple. I just thought it was going to be an exercise spirit, but I really like that Mob has a spirit friend. He like, you know? He I was think like, it fits. Dimple, you're being summoned, and then Dimple disappears. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Great. Yeah, it just makes me happy that um, that Mob has as friends both in the spirit realm and friends in real life. That It just makes me so happy that there are people that care for Mob, and I think it's because I just think Mob deserves everything that's good in this world. Yeah. It's hard to... This is one of the few episodes of Mob Psycho. Don't get me wrong, I liked it and really enjoyed it, but I don't feel like there's much to talk about. Like, no, I think no. It was just like it a was fun. fun episode. Yeah, yeah but it, it wasn't um specific to the overarching kind of plot, yeah. I guess, of Mob. And Subomi wasn't in it, so... But I liked Shinra as a character. I hope that at some point, like not often, but at Is some Shinra point... Is Shinra the one in the opening? You know, when it all of the... I, oh, the opening to the... Be, at the beginning of season one and season two, when they show the different psychics, mm. there was one that had big beads. Uh, maybe. And so I wonder if that's the same one. Um, But I think our lesson from this episode of Mob Psycho is if you are a grown person, do not just go speak to children on a playground. Yeah. (laughs) Or shake them and demand information from them. (laughs) Name, student A, the old guy with the bad eyes who lives on fourth has a human faced dog. LOL. 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 (laughs) For real, should go check it out sometime. LOL. LOL. Love it. Good episode. I don't really have uh, too much more than that. Ritsu wasn't in it. It was just a fun episode. It was. I. It just. Uh, Reagan is so uh, resourceful and so uh, dedicated to his job that he will even go help out another area, another mm. city. Yeah. No other motive. No. I he, mean, I, he's an amazing philanthropist he his charity work uh he he's really focused on protecting everyone and not just the people of his own what is it like salt sit no no what is the city that we're in oh Oh my god something weird but like food specific like white vinegar and then salt middle school or something like that well yeah 
The Not city sure. name has something like that too. Yeah. Um, Reagan needs a new table though. Yeah, why is his table so short? I don't know. I like the one of my favorite little details about the show is seeing all the different outfits that like characters wear. Like Mob and Taro. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm cool. Good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time.